you suffer from a sore, tight lower back, specifically the SI joint, or also what's known as the sacroiliac joint? Now that's an important joint in the body. The SI joint is an indicator of how well we are distributing force through the body, especially with each step we take. And I'm going to explain that a little bit further as to why it's so important. So your sacroiliac joint sits here in your lower back, and it's the only area in the body that has a transfer that crosses its weight transfer over in the body. Let me explain that a little bit more. All right. <laughs> so what I want you to look at is this line here. This line that comes up from my heel, up the back of my leg and crosses over here. That's exactly what happens with each step we take. Okay, imagine this line here is the transfer of load we take through the body. So when you take a step, you feel that kind of shudder throughout your body and end up up into your head. So it does this. It goes from your heel, it travels up the back, back of your calf muscle, it crosses at the back of the knee. That's why some people get knee pain at the back of the knee, because every time they take a step, the load is um, crossing over here. It goes up the back of the leg and it crosses the right side to the left side here at the SI joint. And then it comes up the opposite lat, okay, down my arm and into my neck and jaw. So every time I take a right step, the load ends up in my left jaw. That's where it finishes, all right? But can you see how each step I take, it crosses right there every single time. So if we aren't walking well or if we are distributing our uh, force unevenly, we're going to have that constant barrage of tenderness and tightness and pressure right here. So what I would do in that situation is I would have a look at how you move from head to toe. I'm not just going to treat that area where it's painful. To me, I'm going to look at where your load, where you first transmit that load, which is your feet, and where it ends, which is your jaw. Okay, so mobilization of your feet, flexibility, strength, and mobilization of your feet are going to be really important to help that transfer of load throughout the rest of the body. If you've got tight, sore, immobile feet, you pretty much have a tight, sore, immobile lower back. Okay, then I would move up to make sure your cervical neck is moving well. You can move your jaw, your transfer of load and your mapping systems around moving your upper thoracic in this region up here is good. You have a lot of um, mobility and movement up here. Okay, you're not stagnant and stiff. Because if this is moving well and your feet are moving well, then usually the transfer of force as you walk is going to be a little lighter, boom, through that SI joint. Now, if you are tight and stiff up through here and you are tight and stiff in your feet, that to me would indicate that there's something going on higher up, which means your eyes or your balance. Okay. If your vestibular, which is your GPS system, how you move around in space and time, if that is a little bit off, then every step you take is going to be a little bit off. So if we can fix your vestibular and fix your vision and how you move through the world, you are going to take a lighter step, okay, a better step, a better transfer of load. So importantly, your SI joint can be easily fixed. There are a whole lot of factors around that as well. It's not just having tight feet or tight neck. It could be that you sit down too long during the day and you don't move this area enough. It's become stagnant and the receptors there are kind of overreactive, talking to your brain, telling that, that you're in pain all of the time. But it could also most likely have a lot to do with your eyes and your balance, okay? So your SI joint is an area that can be easily fixed when you know what areas to look for. So I just want you to just understand a little bit more about that joint and why it's so important in the body because it really is the only area that just goes constantly all day long with every step you take. Every move you make, every breath you take, I'm only watching you. That's, that should be my song. Every step you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you in a really non-creepy way, in a really good way to try and fix you, I promise.